Hi, in this video we're going to talk a little bit about Moroni's America, the North American setting of the Book of Mormon. This is a book I wrote several years ago because uh, I assumed that Kamar was in New York, but I thought, well, if Kamar is in New York, how do we explain the rest of the geography? And my wife gave me a list of around 300 different uh, geographical references in the Book of Mormon. I'd read all the books, John Sorensen's book, um, you know, the, all the stuff from Book of Mormon Central and the Interpreter, the Farms, all those guys that claim the, the uh, Hill Camorra is actually in Mexico, which doesn't make sense to me anyway. But I read all their stuff. I read uh, the ideas about the Book of Mormon down in Peru or Chile or Baja or Malaysia. There's lots of different approaches to it. But for me, it boiled down to either the Hill Camorra is in New York, as the prophets consistently taught, or it's not. And if it's not, it almost doesn't matter where it is. In fact, for that matter, if, if the Hilkamar is not in New York, how do we even know that the Book of Mormon took place in the Americas? Because Joseph and Oliver are the ones who said it took place in the Americas, and they also said Hilkamar is in New York. So you can't really disregard what they said about Camorra and accept what they said about America without being inconsistent. But that's separate. So let me just point out what we say in this book. If the Hill Camorra is in New York, then where is everything else, right? Now, the prophets have been very clear. They've said that Camorra is in New York, but we don't know where the rest of the events took place. And that is a perfect answer. It's the only legitimate answer, really, because there's hundreds or even thousands of sites in North America that could qualify as Book of Mormon sites. And there's no way to tell exactly which one was which. Like, you know, where is the city of Helam or whatever? There's so many sites that it could be that it doesn't serve any purpose to try to figure out exactly which one it is, with the exception of the Hill Camorra, because that's the one that Oliver specified as a fact was in New York. And, and there's, in fact, Lucy Max Smith, Joseph's mother, said that she recalled that when Joseph said that, talked about Moroni's visit, the very first night Moroni identified the hill as Camorra. So ever since then, ever since 1823, it's been known that that was the Hill Camorra. So the key. That, thing to think there's three keys I have when I interpret the text to understand the geography the first one is that they use rivers like all ancient people the rivers were the highways and the river systems in North America explain why the Book of Mormon uses the, the geographical descriptions that it does the second is that the lands northward and southward are relative to each other they're not proper nouns they're relative nouns so for example if you live in Salt Lake City Provo is the land southward if, and uh, let's say Logan is the land northward. But if you live in Provo, Salt Lake is the land northward, and southward would be St. George or something. So it's it's all based on where you are as to what is north and what is south. It's pretty obvious. But when you read the text with that in mind, it makes a big difference. And the third is there's not just one neck. Everybody thinks that the the narrow neck of land is is referred to throughout the text. So people always ask me, where's the narrow neck of land? And I say 1320, because that's the only reference to it. There's another reference to a narrow neck, which could be water as well as land. There's a reference to a small neck, which is not the same as a narrow neck. There's um, a few other terms that people conflate to all be one item. But when you, when you read the text carefully, you can see that those refer to different things. So with those three keys, knowing Camorras in New York, I took all that information came up with an approach. I mean, lots of people have different ideas, and that's fine. We should have multiple working hypotheses on this. But at least for me, the text describes North America in a plausible way that is consistent and makes sense and corroborates the teachings of the prophets as well as extrinsic scientific evidence. So that's why I wrote this book, Moronize America. Enjoy.